Welcome back guys to the Baku YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Storm e-bike. This has been with us since the beginning. It's one of our flagship models. So if you wanna learn about the Storm e-bike from Baku, stick around and watch. started out as the mule e-bike that we started with as well. We worked tirelessly on those components, making sure that we had the motor right, the, the chain, the sprockets, everything even to the shifting cables, the front fork, the suspension on that fork, the rotors on the brakes, the disc brakes, everything. We tried to figure out the best ways that we could combine all of these components for the mule e-bike and then we added those components onto a full suspension frame which is what the storm is first question everybody has about uh, this e-bike is what motors on it how good is the motor it's the buffang m620 ultra motor mid drive we call this the diesel motor of the e-bike world it's all metal gearing it has a thousand watts of continuous power and a max output on power for 1500 watts also the motor can be toggled down to 750 watts if you want to fit your e-bike more into the class 1 e-bike classifications. If you know a little bit about torque and power, this motor pushes out 160 newton meters of torque, which is about the same as a small car. Now there's a couple different types of e-bike motors. One is a cadence sensor and one is a torque sensing motor. The Buffang M620 Ultra motor is the torque sensing motor. How much power you put into your pedals is how much power the motor is going to give the bike while you're riding. How much you give into it is how much it's gonna give you back. Now with a powerful motor, the next big thing that everybody wants to know about is the battery. The Storm e-bike can have any one of our batteries. We have a 17.5, a 19.2, a 21 amp hour, and the 25 amp hour battery. All of those batteries are 48 volt lithium ion batteries. The bigger the battery, the farther you'll be able to go. That's how the battery works with e-bikes. Charging time, if it's at 0%, takes about six to seven hours with our four amp smart charger that you'll get with your purchase of the Storm e-bike. Now we do recommend that you don't let the battery on your bike get lower than 20%. The reason for that is because, I mean, once or twice is going to be okay, but if you continually charge it from zero, it hurts the, the cells inside the battery. Now with this battery, it is not integrated into the frame, and so I'll show you a close-up with the camera, but from right there you're watching, you have uh, this key that comes with your e-bike, and you put it into your slot, turn the key, and then you just kind of hit the battery a little bit. And then you can take that battery out and swap it with another one if you have one, if this one's dead, and you can continue riding your e-bike. And then it's, it's just as easy as putting the pin down in the bottom near the motor and popping it into the frame. This e-bike comes with a full color LCD display and your controls for that display are on your left handlebar along with the throttle. Okay, now to turn the display on, you're gonna wanna hit this power button right here. That'll activate your display. And a couple basic things is if you hold the plus down, it's gonna go red, meaning it's in sport mode. Hold that plus down again. Now you have it in eco mode. Eco mode's just gonna help you save a little bit of power um, on your battery. Your plus and minus here are showing the pedal assist right there, one through five. And now if you double tap the I, it's gonna bring up your menu and you can click right there on the display setting, that top one, and you can go over all of these different menu items. We have other videos that go over this, so I won't go over them in too much detail right now. So we're gonna go back using that I as kind of like an enter button, exit. If you hold down the minus, you'll notice it puts you into a walk assist mode right there. I'm not gonna hold it down too long or else you will see the bike kind of walk forward a little bit. I'm gonna pull it back. That helps if you're ever climbing up really, really steep hills or going over some big rocks, you can hold down this minus button and it will uh, give you that walk assist mode. This right here is your throttle. I'm gonna put it in zero so, it doesn't, it, so it's not in use. If you push down on that and your uh, number here is one through five, your throttle will be engaged. Also with your display on, you will see your battery life right here. So we're at 38%. So we're probably gonna take this back to our office and charge it. This is your uh, speedometer here. Now you'll notice on the right hand of it, you'll see a little 1500. That means that 
uh, that's your wattage from zero here up to 1500. You can, it has a max output of 1500 watts, but you're gonna see it stay around the 1000 watt uh, area. If you do go through your settings in that menu I showed you, you can change this to where it only hits 750 and falls under a class one e-bike classification. The frame on the Storm e-bike is an aluminum frame and it comes in a 17 inch or a 19 inch. If you are 5'10 or above in height, we suggest that you ride the 19 inch large frame. If you're shorter than that, then the 17 inch medium size frame will be perfect for you. The brakes on the Storm are Tektro HD E750 quad piston hydraulic disc brakes with 203 millimeter rotors on the front and the rear of the bike. The front fork is the Baku RST Renegade. It's an air suspension fork with 120 millimeters of travel in the front. That can be locked out, so if you ever want to climb up some hills and you don't want to be uh, putting all of your uh, power into your suspension, lock that out. The Storm is a full suspension bike, so the rear suspension is a Rock Shocks Monarch, 150 millimeters of travel shock, and that as well can be locked out. Both of those shocks are air suspension, and so a good starting point that we recommend of filling the front fork to is between 150 and about 180 PSI. And in the rear shock, we suggest starting with about 180 to 220 PSI. The tires on the Storm e-bike are Maxxis Minion 26 by four inch tires. They're big, wide, fat tires with a very durable and aggressive tread. We recommend that you put about 20 PSI in the, the front and rear tire. If you're used to mountain biking um, on skinny tires, you know that those PSI are about 30 PSI. With uh, wide fat tires, you want them to be a little bit lower so they have more grip in the dirt and on the sand uh, or just wherever you're riding. So about 20 PSI for the front and rear tire. The uh, gearing is all SRAM components, uh, SRAM excess gearing and shifting cables with a 11 to 34 teeth uh, cassette in the rear and it's a nine gear uh, shifting system. The derailleur is a SRAM XS uh, derailleur system. It has a little guard, a little wire bar guard around it. So if you're ever riding a stick or a log or something just kind of like pops up from your tires, uh, that little wire cover is going to protect your derailleur. Now to add a little bit more protection to your chain, the uh, front where the chain wraps around, there is a uh, cover on either side of that chain. So you're going to have less mud and debris, uh, dirt, sand, or anything like that getting up into the chain. It also comes standard with a front and rear fender and a rear uh, rack system. So you can put your pannier side saddlebags or a top large or medium uh, uh, pannier bag that we sell at Baku. Um, those are really good for carrying your gear, your jackets. If you're hunting and you want to uh, strip a couple layers of clothes, you can shove them in your uh, pannier bags on your bike and then take them with you wherever you're going. You can throw a lunch in there, extra ammo, whatever you need, you can put them in these bags. They have a clip system that connects them to the rack. The load capacity on the Storm e-bike is 300 pounds safely. You can go a little bit higher than that if you're carrying a heavier pack but just be careful to stay around that weight. Another little piece that you'll notice on uh, the Storm is these little stabilizing bars on the back just below the rear shock. They help stabilize the bike frame and help control some of the weight. If you're uh, pulling a heavy load with a trailer and you're using the 160 Newton meters of torque that the bike offers, then these stabilizing bars help manage that frame and uh, help you control the bike a little bit better just all around for a more smoother ride. I'm a bigger guy so I love to ride the Storm uh, because of the full suspension on the bike. It just gives me a little bit of a more smooth uh, ride whether I'm I'm riding all over Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado. I've ridden this bike all over the place and I love riding the Storm. It's an amazing machine you can take the fenders off if you want. You can take the rack off if you want. If you want it to be a little bit more of a, just a downhill mountain bike, that's really fun as well. Or you can use it for those serious backcountry hunts. You can purchase the Storm e-bike at any one of our authorized dealers. If you go to baku.com and click on contact us, you'll see the dealer locator. Type in your address and our website will show the closest dealer to you 
or you can get the bike just at Baku.com directly from us. Whenever you're purchasing a bike through our dealers or through us directly, you're also going to be getting a five-star customer service rating. We really pride ourselves in having valuable customer service. We have a team in-house all the time ready to answer your calls. Uh, you can even text us with any problems, concerns that you might have, and our customer service team will help you solve that issue. If you have any questions uh, while you are watching this video, uh, if you have any questions about the components or anything about them, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. And also, if you like this video or if this helped answer a question, please like and subscribe to help us, Baku, uh, grow our channel so we can continue making uh, these product videos of all of our bikes, all of our accessories that we sell with the bikes, and really just any questions you have maybe about e-bikes in general. We have a wide uh, array of videos on our channel that you can watch and learn all about e-bikes. So thank you for watching. You can subscribe to our channel with this button right here, or you can click this playlist of videos right here, this button, and look at other product and info videos about our other bikes, our other uh, products that we sell at Baku. So I'm gonna walk off screen. You can go ahead and pick one of those, whatever one you like the best, and we'll see you later.